Welcome to Sideline Sports, where we give you an up close and personal look at the teams, coaches, and athletes that make up Columbia Basin. I'm host Sean Wells. Tonight, we see how Quincy soccer fared against Toppenish. We check in on Warden Baseball taking on Okanagan, and we see how Moses Lake Baseball matched up against Davis. You're watching Sideline Sports, and it starts now. District playoff time for Quincy taking on Toppenish. The Jacks were looking for a big win against the Wildcats to jumpstart postseason play. It was a big semifinal matchup for Quincy Soccer taking on Toppenish. With the win, the Jacks advanced to the district title game against Othello. It was a back and forth first half with Toppenish taking a 1 0 lead in the halftime. In the second half, the Jacks came out firing. A couple early chances didn't go into the net until this PK call for Quincy. That led to this big attempt by sophomore Kevin Rios. Rios crushed it into the back of the net, and then just moments later, Quincy was given another PK. The sophomore Rios did it again for Quincy, giving them a 2-1 lead. Star junior Francisco Alejandres then set in this beautiful free kick to a sprinting Miguel Diaz, heading it past the Wildcat keeper. Jacks take the game 4-2, advancing to the title match. Warden Cougar baseball is eyeing a state playoff berth. The Cougars have to get through district playoffs to reach their goal. The Warden Cougars knocked off Liberty Bell in the first round of 2B district playoffs. That set up a second round game with Okanagan. Warden jumped out first, taking a 2-0 lead. Then the Okanagan bats heated up. Clay Ashworth hit this big triple. An RBI base hits brought in runners in the second and third innings, giving the Bulldogs a 3-2 lead. The bats exploded again in the fifth for five runs, and that was enough for the Bulldogs as they knocked off Warden 8-5. Jim Townsend pitched a complete game for Okanagan with 14 strikeouts. Townsend also had two hits at the plate, while T.J. Morris knocked in three RBIs. Tyson Yamani pitched 4.2 innings for the Cougars, striking out three. It was a winner go to state game for Moses Lake Baseball. The Chiefs were taking on a tough Davis team, hungry for a win. The Chiefs came back to beat the Pirates 5-2 in a first round loser out game early Saturday afternoon at Rec Park in Wenatchee. Davis went up 1-0 in the top of the second. Moses Lake loaded the bags in the bottom of the frame but couldn't get a runner home. The Pirates added one in the top of the third to make it 2-0. The Chiefs answered back with one in the bottom of the inning to narrow the gap to 2-1. An RBI single by Ryan Pena tied it when Spencer Vela was safe on a close play the plate. Moses Lake added two more runs on an RBI single by Kevin Cosper and a sacrifice fly from Tyson Karstetter. The Chiefs added an insurance run in the bottom of the sixth and then shut down the Pirates in order in their last at bat. Hunter Boyd went the distance to pick up the win, giving up two runs off eight hits and fanning five Pirates. Pena was three for four at the dish with two RBI. There were a ton of great games throughout the week in the Columbia Basin. Let's take a look at scores from your favorite teams. Baseball results. Moses Lake knocks off Davis 5-2. Wenatchee takes down Moses Lake 5-3. And Davis crushes West Valley 10-3. Softball results. Moses Lake sneaks by Wenatchee 7-5. Efreda tops Toppenish 7-6. Warden knocks off Cleellum 10-7. Soccer results. Quincy blanks Cheney 1-0. Pullman knocks off Grandview 1-0.
and Wenatchee beats Sunnyside 5-4. Coming up after the break, we'll have our pick six top plays of the week.